Hello dear students, today we will see one of the important applications of microelectromechanical systems, retinal scan display. We know we live in a screen focused society today, smartphones, tablets, laptops, TVs etc etc. And all these technologies, all these devices use different technologies like display technologies, LCD, LED, TFT, thin film transistor, OLED, plasma, quantum and so on. In retinal scan displays, these displays are also known as VRSD or virtual retinal scan displays or simply retinal projector and was developed by Human Interface Technology Laboratory HITL Washington and it uses raster display technology what do you mean by raster display and you've been acquainted uh, the raster scanning methods in television sets and the CRT monitors and an electron beam is swept across the screen one row at a time from top to bottom which is used in CRT technologies and the scanners used are mechanical resonance scanner mechanical resonance scanner means and the system responds at greater amplitude when the frequency of its oscillation matches the system's natural frequency that is the frequency of oscillation and the natural frequency when it matches, then only the system will respond. And now we will see the block diagram of RSDs. RSD, drive electronics. Obviously, video source will be there and drive electronics, photon generation, intensity modulation, beam scanning, and finally the optical projection system. Okay, the video source is fed through photon generation and intensity modulation blocks via drive electronics. It is the standard interface for connecting a source to the photon generation of this module. And the photon generation module what? And it generates the coherent beam of light which make use of laser diodes as coherent source. So the source for the coherent light, amb ambient light is laser. And the intensity modulation, like all modulation systems, here the optical power of a source is varied in accordance with some carrier of the modulating signal. So, the photon generated the photon generation module generates the photon of coherent beam of light which will be modulated in accordance with the modulated signal and next is beam scanning here we use an electron beam to create a raster pattern on the screen raster pattern we already seen and a Retinal scan displays uses beam of light to scan a raster pattern on the retina. And finally, the optical projection systems. And uh, we know the optical projection it is a screen or a big screen with an adverse optical lens system which controls the projected image. Next is the description, same. In the description, a light source obviously and a modulation scheme we have seen and a horizontal and vertical scan is and other beam scanning, here the beam scanning takes place and the delivery optics, optical projection system and the controlling electrons. And the light source is typically a laser and we have seen and a laser is used to create a monochrome display 
if it is a black and white display a single laser is used and and if we need to project a color three or three lasers are normally used and each laser must be individually modulated for a color screen and for the modulation current to the laser diode itself can be varied for varying the uh, by varying the current to the modulation in the diode or a laser diode we can vary the modulation scheme also and the current prototypes are two types color system and the monochrome systems are there and its advantages are very small lightweight and since it is a micro machined or application of micro electromechanical systems obviously it will be very small and lightweight And applications, military applications, medical applications, and camera. You know, in military applications, military and aerospace applications for robotic vision. And we you know a screen is the best way to display the most powerful weapon of war. They can be placed on every surface, ships, planes tracks even in helmets or rifle sights and radios and the next medical utilities modern medical devices with the displays even bp monitors mri image images and cameras conclusion and uh, virtual retinal display systems offer solutions to many of the problems that have plagued the personal display devices various test screen devices like resistive capacitive surface acoustic and ir optical test screens and today we are using different technologies we already seen and a small low cost low power high resolution and of course it is an application of micro electromechanical system so all these characters or all this character we can expect and obviously the we are, we are obviously we will see this will be one of the revolutionary changes in the display technology the vr device uh, appears to be an ideal display for a large number of commercial industrial consumer and military applications Thank you all. If you have any doubt regarding this topic, please feel free to contact me. Thank you.